hello and welcome back to another tutorial of tableau from practical it guys this video is in continuation of the last video which we did that was parameter so in this tutorial i have come up with a situation wherein let's say i have order date here and i have selected a, let's say i have selected a one measure that is called profit so there is a requirement if I want to select a month let's say I want to select a quarter I should get the trend quarter wise if I select a month I should get a trend month wise if I select a day I should get a trend day wise so there is a requirement I want a single pill over here that can handle any duration like year quarter month and days so I have come up with this situation what we will learn in this tutorial so I will create a single parameter I will create a single parameter for year month quarter and days the user as soon as the user select any of the period the visualization must be appear based on the user that he has selected or he or she has selected right so we will perform a calculation and a parameter in this tutorial first of all let me give you again a brief introduction about the situation i want to create a single drop down pill over here i want to create a single pill like here the moment i select month i sh the the moment i select month it should be selected a month it should be give me a data month wise right this way the moment i select a day the trend should be given me uh, this way but it should be in a continuous way like uh, we have here suppose if I extend it to uh, let me extend it to quarter so the trend is basically it is discontinuing here so I want a trend in a continuous way if I select if let me uh, if I expand it to a month so I am getting a month wise data per year but the trend here is discontinued so I don't want I want the trend to be continue the moment user select year whether year quarter month or days so this is the requirement so let's uh, first uh, let me create a parameter in this parameter I will include four values click over here drop down icon then click this create parameter you will got you will get this pop-up create parameter I will uh, name it period right and I want to have uh, four uh, string values let's say that I want to have uh, I want to have list first I want to have year then I have uh, quarter then I have months then I have days so these four values <coughs> are included in my period parameter and they will be displayed the same as the values appearing right if I click on ok you will get my period parameter is appeared here click on this drop down pill show parameter control you will get this flexibility guys the moment user select any of the parameter any of the parameter value here then I should get the visualization by year if I select quarter then I should get the visualization by quarter and so on so in order to control this we need to have a calculated field so we will create a simple calculated field that will control our this bin pill so we will replace that pill with this calculation field right so what i will do i will again go to this drop down icon i will create a calculated field and let me name it called c dot give it a very feasible name that is related to your uh, parameter right c dot we said uh, c refers to a uh, calculation right so anyone if uh, if anyone is viewing this work uh, work, uh, worksheet uh, he should uh, th there there must be a hint in his mind that uh, c re c might refers to a calculation right so c dot period i call it a period now i will apply here a formula so what formula i will apply let me drag it here this is my period parameter right 
I will say if period this is our parameter is equal to we have four values we uh, we have quarter oh sorry first we have year then we need we need year wise data so what I will say year of order date and we have another condition which is else if period our period parameter has value quarter so what we need we need our data to be appear a quarter wise so here we have a formula if you type here date date part yeah we have formula here date part date part will give you a return a quarter right let me uh, call it a date part date part date part in date part we have to type a date part quarter why right, this is case sensitive and uh, in the date parameter you have to type your order date and uh, else if if the period value is period value is equal to months we have months okay then again we will use date part function then we need our data to be appear in a uh, months wise right my uh, parameter is month date part parameter comma date would be the same order date but at the end for day we need a day of order date right then we have end if and so the end so what we are seeing here if our parameter has a value here then we should see the visualization by here and if we have our parameter quarter wise then we should see the data by quarter wise and if we have year oh sorry and if we have month selected in our parameter we will we should view the visualization by month wise and so on let me click on i you see here uh, the calculation is valid let me click on apply then click on okay so c dot period have come over here this is because why uh, why days come over here so let me go to edit mode guys this is my string and this is returning me a integer so what i will do i will first change all the values into a string so what i will do there is a function called str str click over here it returns all value as is right so what i will do i will type here str i will wrap this function into str then again i will uh, type it str look at this str str oh guys if you see here now it says the calculation is valid let's click on apply then ok let me drag this cal uh, which is our created uh, c dot period calculation over to this column right so the moment I select uh, let me change it to a uh, trend wise which is line I want a line let me change it to year we are getting our data year wise right let me change it to quarter we are getting quarter but it is uh, again a cumulative let me change it to a uh, months we are getting uh, this trend in a continuous way but again this is a this is an aggregated view means this january has include all the data of january's from year 2016 2017 2018 and 2019 this day so we have to modify our function what we will do the moment i drag onto a quarter so we are not getting this quarter belongs to which year which month right so what i will do i will go over here and click on edit so we need to add a year before it right so what i will do i will just copy this and I will concatenate, concatenate this with a year. Control V, then 
concatenation sign is plus single quote let me give it a hyphen then again single quote then give me a plus right i will do same with month wise so we need to find which month belongs to which year same i will do it control v give it a plus single quote hyphen single quote then give it a plus right then apply then okay if i come over here let me select year this is year wise let me select quarter you see here we are getting a data of quarter wise do you see 2016 1 2 3 4 this is quarter wise data over and if i select month so we are getting 2016 we have month wise data then 2017 we have month wise data 2018 and 2019 and we select on the day but we have to uh, modify day as well uh, let me uh, let me again go to the formula guys there is one problem let me let me show you the problem is we are getting 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 i want to uh, include a prefix a q q1 q2 let i want to prefix a q before quarter so what i will do i will edit the formula and i will prefix q over here right guys q let me give a q let me uh, give a little bit space then apply you see here quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 likewise and i also want to include uh, i also want to rectify your day edit so what i will do i will basically include year plus month i want to include which year which month the day belongs to so what i will do i will uh, directly copy this this calculation and i will concatenate it with this day right plus hyphen semicolon hyphen plus apply then okay if i click on let me select day you will you will see in the january we have 31 days all the data has been shown to january then february then march then 2017 18 and 19 so let me bifurcate this visualization by a segment right guys so here you are seeing uh, there is a discontinuation just because uh, the trend is our discontinuating in some points that's because we don't have uh, data available here in our uh, data set right that's why we are getting let me select onto year you will get year wise data let me select onto quarter you are getting quarter wise 2016 1 2 3 4 then let me select it to month now we are getting a trend we are getting a trend in a continuous way do you see day is same for the day wise let me uh, <coughs> make this chart a very beautiful how we can do uh, let me uh, bring sales on to a uh, size so what will happen the moment uh, you are getting a thick line it means the there the sales is high the thickness of the line of the trend line will show the volume of the sales right so let me uh, make it quarter the did, did you see here is thickness here is here is low sales here is high sales same for the month wise same for the quarter wise uh, let me uh, give it a very beautiful color let me call it uh, go to color edit color you can choose any color what you want right let me make it uh, something very nice graph so for take this then we make it apply then okay quarter days months let me also include the labels show mark and uh, font i want to keep it to uh, it let me format this right click format Uh, come over to a uh, sum of profit under pain we have called numbers numbers in the take it one uh, like make it uh, two places use it and make it 1000 in a 1000 if you see uh, the chart looks me uh, very beautiful now 
quarter wise we have quarter wise data then we have uh, month wise let me if you also want to increase the size or decrease you can decrease here size quarter then here so let me uh, edit this title so what uh, the moment I select any of this uh, parameter over here I want to appear it by this way I want to appear it this profit by this way right so let me click over here let me change it profit by I want to pick it uh, parameter value from here press on this in, insert drop down icon you will get parameter uh, period make it uh, middle bold give it uh, 14 font choose any color apply then ok by default my year is selected that's why it is picking it by year selected by quarter you will get data by quarter by days you will get by days month if you want to include in an entire view just click over here quarter wise data your year wise your day wise you can view it in a presentation mode as well now the our graph looks very beautiful in a very uh, continuous way you are saying there is no discontinuity between years right you can see our graph now this looks uh, very beautiful so this is how you can create a continuation what you call it a trend without continuation in this way okay guys i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial so i will come up with the another another tutorial in our next video so till then you stay healthy and stay safe bye bye